office, home, and internet selling tool. If I double click on it, it's going to open it up inside of my browser, okay? Once I got it inside my browser, I have all the tools from the LTC CEO available to me. I've got the presentations on the first page. I've got the making decisions uh, tools, which is an answer to every big objection that you get in long-term care terms. Then internet selling, which will take you to a sales and training course on internet selling and the customizable consumer presentation. Then the perfect portfolio. This is the perfect portfolio of products that we think every senior agent should have. And we have a brochure, online training, product overview, and the software for every one of the products here. Then we have the resource materials. Anything you need to know when you're making a sale to a client out there is right here on the screen. That's why I originally built this. Is I wanted to know that if a client asked me any question that I didn't know off the top of my head, I had a spot that I could open it up, click on that question, and know it all. You know, this got your Medicare benefits. Okay, that's a big book that tells you everything about Medicare, Medicaid, veterans information, etc. And last of all, you have the calculators. In the calculators is where a Medicaid personalized spend down calculator. You know what? This is the real background behind the LTC CEO. I've trained agents for over 20 years in long-term care insurance. And the hardest thing to train agents on is Medicaid. Because Medicaid is difficult. Medicaid changes every year you're seeing different amounts out there. So I decided to put together a calculator that made it very easy for me to show clients and for you to show clients how Medicaid works. You don't actually have to know anything about Medicaid. All you got to know is how to read my typing. So you open it up to this page and you press open calculator going to bring up a box that says, how do you want to open this? And I'm going to say, open it with Medicaid or Microsoft Excel. Now it's going to open up Excel. It's going to open up my calculator. And it's going to say, okay, welcome to Mark Randall Selling Tools. Just go okay. Then go to Client Data Input Screen. Now this will bring you to the front screen of the calculator. Okay, this is state-specific. So you can enter any state that you want, and it will automatically change the numbers to that state. You enter in your client's information, then say how much is their primary residence worth. Oh, let's say we get a client with $300,000 primary residence. Then it says, okay, value of any other property that they have, lakeshore, farmland, et cetera. Okay, then it says in worth other than real estate. So I'm going to put 300000 in there too. Okay, then I'm going to go up here and put in their ages, put in their monthly income. Okay, now when I go down here, if I'm going to print this out, I'm going to press on this and fill in my name, fill in my phone number. I've already done that. Then I'm going to go click on the married asset spend up. When it opens up this page, it's going to show the full page, but your mouse is going to be a magnifying glass already. So all you have to do is put it where you want it and click the button. And then it's going to tell you, okay, here's the deal. If John went into a nursing home this year, what Medicaid's going to do is, first of all, they're going to say, total up all of the couple's assets. Now, you notice one thing here. It doesn't matter who owns the assets. If either one of you own them, they get thrown into the central pot. So if we look back at the numbers we put in the opening screen, we'll see that totals up $600,000. Then it says, okay, what assets are non-countable? 
Now, Medicaid doesn't count all your assets when they try to figure out what your spend down is going to be. What they do is they say there are some assets out there that aren't countable. First asset that's aren't countable is if you have a spouse that lives in the house, okay, the house is non-countable. So you notice this put up right away, 300000 There's also an automobile that can be listed here. There is um, any type of um, final expense or um, burial plan you have. Okay, but we didn't include those in the countable assets, so we'll exclude them here too. Then Medicare takes and subtracts the two out, and it ends up with $300,000. Now, the easiest way to understand Medicaid is to say, take that dollar amount and divide it in half. Put half in Dad's name, notice this is John's column over here, and half in Mary's name. Then Medicaid says, okay, in the state of Ohio, okay, the institutionalized spouse can keep okay, half the assets up to a total of $1,500. So John's going to be able to put $1,500 right here. And then it says Mary can keep half of the assets with a minimum of $25,000 and a maximum of $119,000. So we're going to put $119,000. You know, you'd be amazed at how many people out there think that one half of the assets are protected. Okay, they don't really no, it's one half of the countable assets up to a total of 119,000. And then they subtract the numbers up. When they get done, they add the two together, and that is what's considered to be available assets. So, you can read down below, available assets have been spent. Okay? Any transfer within five years will be a penalty. Okay? So the bottom line is the first thing we're going to tell mom and dad here is you guys spend $179,000 on dad's care. When you get done spending that money, then come back and talk to us. Okay? So a lot of people don't realize Medicaid's not free. Okay. Medicaid, if you have assets, because remember, if you sign off those assets to anybody, try to sign your farm over the kids, etc., you'll get penalized for that. So the first thing you got to do is spend $179,000. When you get done, then close out the screen by going up to this X, hitting the X, and then say, now let's look at the income calculation. The income calculation, press here to get it to blow up a little bit, says put each couple's income by itself. Now we tell Mary, here's the deal. John's in the nursing home. You don't have to spend any of your money towards John's being in the nursing home at all. Okay. In fact, if you don't have what's called the monthly maintenance income allowance, which right now in Ohio is 19, or excuse me, 13, well, $1,966. Then we'll allow you to move income from your husband over to you to get you up to 1966. Then John is allowed what's called a personal needs allowance. Okay, in Ohio right now, that's 40 bucks. So that subtracted off of here, leaves nine ninety four, and then we tell Mary, "Here's the deal, Mary. Each month, when you get your checks in, okay, you take nineteen hundred and sixty six bucks and put it in your checking account. Then you put forty bucks in Dad's nursing home account, and then send nine hundred ninety four dollars to the nursing home." To see the key is with Medicaid is there is no free ride, okay? Unless, of course, you get under 40 bucks a month of income. The fact of the matter is, is that you're going to end up paying part of your own thing. 
Now, this can get really tough when you look back and say, I just ran into a case like this. Dad was a postal worker. His retirement income was 4500 a month. Mom's was around $1,200 a month. Okay. So I said, after you spend down, here's what your income calculation is going to look like. We're going to put 4500 in Dad's column, 1200 in Mom's. Now, since Mom doesn't have 1966, we'll move over 1900 or excuse me, $766 a month. Dad gets to keep 40 So each month, Mom, you get to keep 1966 Okay, keep put 40 bucks in Dad's nurse home account, and then send a check to Medicaid or to the nurse home for $3,600. Question is, Mom, could you live on 1966 bucks? When she said no, I said, you know what, folks? You don't have a choice. You have to consider long-term care insurance because mom couldn't survive on that. She might end up losing the house, losing other property, etc. Now, of course, what we're looking at now is a married couple. But what happens if dad dies and all of a sudden, mom is left by herself. Now, if mom is left by herself, she gets dad's income, okay, but she now owns all the assets. So let's look at a single asset spend down. I click this button, it shows total of all the assets is 600 grand. Now, the house is exempt for the first six months that they're on Medicaid. After that six months, they're going to look at the house and say, is mom going to come out of the nurse home again? If the answer is no, they're going to say sell the house. But for right now, that 300 grand is going to be exempt. That leaves mom 300,000. How much can she keep? Of course, $1,500. So they're going to tell the kids, first thing, you spend $298,500. I got a brother that his wife's mother is in a nurse home and they're just going through this. And they just got spending down, spent down the bulk of the farm. And now Medicaid's coming out of them? Oh, well, you know what? If you spent down the 298000 we don't think she's coming out of the nurse home again. So sell the home. So now they just sold the home. And Medicaid says, guess what? You can keep 1500 bucks. Spend the rest of it and then come in and talk to us again. So now they've just started paying off another 298000 Now imagine these kids. She has Alzheimer's. She doesn't even recognize them anymore. And here they are spending all this money that should have come to them. I hate to sound grievy there when I say that, but the bottom line is, is that's the way it is. Now, when she gets all done spending that down, they spent down $600,000, okay? Then let's look at the income calculation. Income calculation is pretty simple. She's got 4500 bucks a month coming in. She gets to keep 40 bucks, cent. 4460 bucks to the nurse home each month. You know what? This is what we're talking about when we're talking about Medicaid. A lot of people out there today think, no problems, I'll just put out buying long-term care. When something happens to me, I'll rely on Medicaid. Well, if you get a client that tells you that, tell you what, open up the Medicaid spend down calculator and show them exactly what they're looking at. You know, that's keys to the tools that we offer you at Golden Care. In the LTCCEO, we have other calculators. We get um, a webinar on the inflation calculator coming up this afternoon. These are short webinars just to show you how our tools work. And remember that we are only a phone call away. 
and that we're your solution for long-term care insurance and alternatives out there. We have our three-in-one promotion going on right now, and that is each quarter of this year, for every mutual uh, custom solutions you send in, okay, we'll give you a $50 bonus for every issued policy you have. If you have 10 issued policies, we'll give you a $500 additional bonus. Then at the end of each quarter, okay, we'll put all the writing agents into a hat, and we're drawing out 20 prizes, totaling $5,000. And on top of that, okay, every writing agent all year long, your name gets put in a hat, and at the end of the year, we're going to draw out one agent's name for a brand new Ford Mustang. You know, we're seeing agents across the country win these prizes out there, and I'm happy for them. You know, I got to tell you, one of the winners from last time called me up and said, I didn't even know you guys were having a contest. And all of a sudden, I opened up my mail and got a $500 bonus. You know, what a cool thing to have. But that's a golden care, where our job is to support you in long-term care. So do me a favor. Pick up the phone today and call, call us at Golden Care at 1-800-842-7799. Ask about our perfect portfolio of long-term care products and alternatives that can help make sure that you can help every client out there. With that said, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a great 2016. This is Mark Randall saying goodbye.